I was away for a while, which is around a year, I guess. Well, what, what can I say? I'm a busy person. Today I'm going to be reviewing, or rather, working with a piece of software called Darkwave Studio. It's a free DAW, which means free as in freedom and free as in free beer. Uh, yes, it's open source software. And that's nice. There isn't a lot of open source software. Popular open source software, that is. Um, Darkwave Studio is lightweight. It gets the job done. And although the interface is a little different. And there are a couple problems here and there. Overall, it's, 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 it's a very good piece of software. <coughs> Here's a short introduction to the DAW and the features it has. Everything is split into five tabs. This is studio, where all the audio routing is done, where the mixer is added, where all the VSTs are managed. This is the pattern editor where patterns are created. This is the sequence editor where patterns are added. Kind of common, that's, that's how most DAWs work. This is the HD recorder, this is where the track is recorded and rendered. More on that later. And this is the project info, you write things about the project here, you know, the general stuff. Today I'll try and build a basic beat in Darkwave Studio. Uh, use the interface and record it so that you can see how it is that it works. First of all, Darkwave Studio doesn't come with a lot of VSTs of itself. Of course, there, is, there are some really nice plugins like Degenerate and Basshead, which I used and they're pretty nice. But you would have to add some of them. You, you would have to add your own collection and see accordingly. Now how that's done, how that's done is that you go to options from the view part. Oh yes, yeah, so also set up your audio stuff using direct sound. You go to VST parts, you add a path. This is where things will be loaded from. This is my path, DAW plugins. Once that once that's out of the way, let's build a basic beat. I'll be using the native degenerate to build a basic drum beat. Just click on this thing, whatever this is, to expand the icon. I'll click on the icon to expand. And I'll click on line out and it creates a line and from the line out of a VST I'll connect that to the line in of the audio output it's pretty simple also clicking on the arrow and dragging the mouse I can adjust the volume level right clicking right clicking on the arrow will allow me to disconnect that's a little problematic also second thing the mouse wheel doesn't work you'll have to click on the scroll bar and scroll accordingly that's going to be a little problematic when you have a lot of VSTs. You know, you just want to scroll down and get some room, but it doesn't happen. Anyway, go to the pattern editor. I'll select Degenerate from the list here, which is this plugin, ESD Generate 1. I'll press the plus button here, add pattern to create a pattern. I'll just set the length to, f uh, I'll set the note length to 2 and the pattern length to 4. All right, let's get started. One, two, three, four. This button here loops. Oh, that's a little too slow. I'll just get the BPM up to 130. It's much more like it. Now to add some hi-hat. And some snare. That sounds weird. I'll just tweak some stuff.
much better. Now let's go to the sequence editor. Many of you FL Studio users might be familiar with the sequence editor being called the playlist. So I'll just select, click on degenerate to select it. Part 1, there are no other patterns. Part 1, part 1, part 1. I'll just create another pattern to. Yes, sequence length is 16. I just want this. I don't want this to last longer than four bars. Ah, time to create a new pattern. Okay. That's nice. Select pattern 2 from there. Let's listen to the entire thing. Now to add some melody. I'm going to be using this VST called T-Force Alpha Plus. This is not native. I downloaded it. Click on the VST icon. There we are, expanded. This is nice, it comes with a couple of trans since just use a preset trans lead 3. Remove all the FX. Line out to line in. Make some room here. That's more like. Select T8 T4 Alpha Plus from here. Add a pattern. Make the pattern length 8. getting somewhere though I do think the volume is a little high for my purpose scale it down a little yeah that's much more like it now to add some finishing touches I'll use this VST called Sinister the interesting thing about Sinister is that it was made by a couple of students in Berlin and it's open source so that's another nice open source thing and it sounds really nice Imagine people spending so much of money on stuff when a lot of good stuff is actually free. A lot of companies give away their good stuff. You use a patch called Levob. Sounds like a wobble. Just add some notes. <laughs> Sounds nice. Not bad at all. Let's add some finishing touches. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Now to export the song. I'll actually have to disconnect all of this, unfortunately. And now, and this is pretty clever, I'll just 
use a HD recorder track serial line in oh, I'm sorry line out line in and I'll rig all these VSTs to go through the recorder and then output everything and then I'll just export the recorder track simple but great and out line in up I've got to bring this down line out line in and of course our wobbles uh, see remember when I said it's it's a little problematic to just keep scrolling up and down well and of course I'll turn this down a little <laughs> everything is well and good now here's what I'm going to press the record button which is from this in case you were wondering where it came from I'm going to press the record button it's going to play everything and record it first got to mention the name of the exported file though just click on the save button under HD recorder save this at the desktop Alright, and press record song. It's being looped, if you look at that. Alright, now we have a nice recorded song. Let's test it, see what it sounds like. Just what was needed. And this is it. This is Dark Wave Studio. Pretty nice if you ask me. I'd recommend it to people who don't want I'd recommend it to people who don't want a lot of features, just want their, you know, stuff to work. It's also free and open source, so in case if something like Ardor, which is another great, very, very functional open source DAW, seems intimidating, Darkwave Studio works well. It's simple, doesn't have a lot of features, and it's pretty small too. I, I, the setup file was pretty small. Thanks for watching.